Hello, humans and non-humans alike, and good ever applies to you. Today we are back on Pillars of Eternity PS4 Let's Play, where we are currently sifting through Durgan's battery. Like the lovely magpies that we are, we're taking anything not nailed down. And if it's nailed down, we're still taking it, and what the fuck? Oh, that's... When the hell did it decide to do that? Alright, there's a whole space here. There's stairs going up here. That's the feast hall. So we got a lot of exploration to do. Places to explore. To kill. We've got to survive by any means necessary. We'll have blood in these halls before long. Okay. I guess I don't need to stealth from ghosts, do I? Well, at least ghosts that aren't trying to kill me. As your part story, waves of essence ripples through the air. The ancient stones grind and groan around you, and a woman's voice echoes from the hall. Stop right there! You must be some merchant come to speak with Zoltan. There's a pause in which the woman's wrathful essence gathers like a storm cloud on the other side of the door. The entire room creaks from the pressure of her presence. I pick the lock, but I think she'll notice. Our illustrious coin master may let you plunder our armory, but I've got other ideas for dealing with your lot. Her voice is sharp and loud like the slamming of a door. As the words echo in the chamber, the ghosts startle and flinch, glancing about, glancing about in agitation. Turn and go before I show you how an arms warden deals with trespassers. Uh, a group called the Leaden Key is seeking something here. The ghosts stir, looking around and shivering, their eyes widen and glow as they light on you, as if they're noticing you for the first time. Just as quickly, they gaze away and seem to forget you once more. But now they seem alert, wary. Whoever you're searching for, I haven't seen them. And none get past me. Leave our halls. Go back to whatever land you hail from. Uh, your halls are full of corpses. I do need to know how you died. You waste your breath on hollow threats. There's a hiss, a grating noise, and the click of something sliding into place on the other side of the door. I'll have you carved by Durgan Steel, wretch. Then we'll see what the other commandants have to say. Ghosts turn their heads and lock eyes with you, shriek. Well, fuck. Well, I always wanted to be murdered by ghosts. Oh no, wait, that wasn't what I always wanted? I wanted to not be murdered by ghosts? Oh uh, yeah, that does seem to like Okay, you need to switch weapons here, buddy. Oh, it's a bear not attacking. Of course it's not a bear not attacking. Who else would not be attacking? We are clearly being murdered here. Press him and use the grimoire slam by yourself at this point. Bam! And it did nothing! Oh, an Animancer wants to talk to me. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Leaving in 8 days, 24 hours. Well, after we're done exploring, oh, do something about that, please. Thank you. Keeping an eye out. And that goes down. Alright, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to go down. Therefore, we must go up. But first, there are other sections of this place to explore. We are ever the magpie. 
for we are adventurers. Our patron animal is always the magpie. I'll keep an eye out. It is literally our creed. We must rob everyone of everything. If we see something shiny, it shall be ours. <laughs> That is quite literally what it means to be an adventurer. To seek out our enemies' personal objects and keep them for ourselves. That is what it means to explore. Yeah, wasn't one of my shadows. I don't know why you're... The Battery Priest? Do you think I hear you, Priest? I do not. Let's try that. I'm hearing another adversary to cut down. And oh my god, you people just have the cheap shit. I'm no pack mule. Let's off. He's a traitor to the battery. Bunch of scrolls. Shimmering Cloak, Range Deflection Bonus. That could be good. Bill of Sale. You unroll the scroll and see an inventory of weapons and armor, swords, shields, breastplates, and helm. All of this sold to a Lucan of Dunreed. The bill is signed by Commandant Zultan, Coin Master of Dead. You give me any more Pack gifts, and people will start Let's thinking you're playing joke. favorites. Scroll of Hailstorm. I'm no pack mule. And some spirits to go with our spirits. Alright then, let's open this secret door. And everything is very frozen. Uh, encased in a thick sheet of ice, this dwarven corpse has been remarkably preserved. Those features are obscured by the frost. Clutched in the dwarf's hands is a large cloth wrap bundle, perhaps a pack. Hammer and chisel. You chip away steadily at the ice. Practice is slow, but in time, great chunks of ice begin to fall away, along with occasional gobbets of cloth and frozen flesh. At last, with an alarming crackling note sound, the satchel emerges. Inside. The contents of the satchel are largely unharmed. You find a handful of stamped coins, some papers, and a scroll, along with a heavy iron key. Further searching uncovers nothing else. Rolled parchments. There we go. Uh, is this the rolled parchment? Yeah, probably not experiment notes. Here we go. Burns getting suspicious. I've got her sniffling after Zoltan for the time being, but she'll keep an eye on me. I had the lads put this last shipment in with the coal and a cart across the tracks. I'm counting on you to make sure it gets topside. You don't mind getting your hands dirty, right? Gregor! Ah, Gregor, our favorite thief. If you say so, that'll do. Exceptional mail armor and more of these dwergen and cogwheels. Let's offload this junk. And no one knows if they have any value or not. So, since we're definitely supposed to go down, time to go up. Items cannot be used in combat, but can provide bonuses over a long period of time, see? Time, time is what... is a measurement of existence, time. Not minus, but time. Just a look at Freeman could say anything and it would sound <laughs> Someone, anyone, go Morgan Freeman and voice. I can't do it. 
I am nowhere near that level. I've decided to be quiet during the loading screens, as they're technically draining whatever I have to say. They're draining my reserves of witty commentary. Don't you think it's witty? Say it's witty. I'll see what's ahead. Minor gauntlets of accuracy. The term godlike doesn't refer well, to Well, we're just finding all the useful gloves in here, aren't we? Unlimited quantities of war spoils. I'm no pack mule. Let's offload this junk. Coming up here is definitely a good idea then. Shit. I'll keep an eye out. Getting all that good shit. Yeah? Oh, yeah. No, that's it. Alright, who doesn't have gloves on? Hey, hey, old buddy, old pal of mine. Here are some gloves. If it looks like our inventory is filling up, we can just get rid of this shit. And it's practically worthless anyway. In the grand scheme of things, I am now rich enough that money doesn't really seem to even be much of a concern, does it? Oh. No, a dare is super accurate. I mean, technically, if I'm gonna have the devil of Karak using two weapons at a time, then she probably needs the accuracy more than the chair does, but oh well. Oh well, oh well, oh well, oh well. <sighs> really? My main character is actually tired? Let's see what that actually does. Uh, minor fatigue. Minus 10 in accuracy, minus 10% maximum endurance. And what do you have? Concussion, minus 2 intellect, minus 2 resolve. We may as well rest. And you have no points in uh, survival. That's not necessarily good. I dreamt of ghosts again. And I think there was a camping She'll supply. bring these walls down around us. Yes. Alright then, onward to glory. I'll see what's ahead. And let's just save here, because why the fuck not? Now, considering how awesome the characters are, I wonder why they make it so that you can technically play the game without them. I mean, experience is split, so if you played solo, I mean, you'd be in for a rude awakening, but your levels would probably go up a lot faster than having a six-person party going on.
Nice and quiet. Uh, I wouldn't describe this place as quiet. Yep. We can't hold them off! Fall back! I don't think you can show what they I were fighting against a little bit. Give me any more gifts and people. You're playing favorites. Alright, let's go through here. Since we know it curves up here. Oh. Ooh, good thing I sold most of my jewelry. Get it. I'll see what's ahead. Okay, you're just gonna. Shadow skeletons like prostrate. If you say so, got it done. Grace is a spiritual army. Oh, give me any more gifts, and people will start Let's thinking you're playing traitor. Hey, Loth, old buddy, old pal of mine. You have no gloves either. Excellent. That's exactly what I wanted to say. You give me any more gifts, and people will start thinking you're playing favorites. Don't care. I don't give a shit if you think I'm playing favorites or not. Do what I tell you to or die. That's all that matters. I'm no pack mule. Let's offload this junk. They're coming! To the mines! Is this a workshop? If you say so. Rob the joint blind. That'll do. You find some good shit here, probably. Wait, oh, the fuck. Okay, no, that's just an ice troll. Oh, okay, good, that's just a lot of ice trolls. Um. If anyone thinks they don't have something to fight, 
Look in front of you. Uh, duplicate. Duplicate yourself, man. Some extra fire support. Eh, the duplicate doesn't have any abilities. Just checking. Take that! Okay, Katapa, I need you to intercept that ice troll. Well, you didn't do very well in the interception part, now, did you? I mean, really. Well, at least that duplicate's taking some of the heat. Okay, you interrupted the ice troll. Why is everything freezing? Doing pretty well, I mean. The fuck! I say that, and then they immediately start killing other things for some strange reason that is inexplicable to me. Well, there goes the duplicate. Like, just because it's half dead, don't mean it's dead. Keep fighting. Gee, some people. Oh no, he comes back to life! Oh, that's what does it. Well, shit. They be coming up back up in the little uh, middle of battle. 11 to 17 to A lock. Damage. Ace and maze. Uh, da, 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 da. Where am I supposed to put that? Troll skin. Troll skin. More troll skin. Know. Does troll skin actually do anything? Stone dial. This thick circle of dark stones intricately engraved. Very strange symbols. Small stone protrusion rise from the center of the outer edge, pointing outward. Hmm. Could be useful later on. And it's a continued quest item. Bloodthirst Freedom Defiance. Oh! Oh! Shit! I'm no pack! Yes, I get it, you're no pack meal. Can't you at least something say something interesting like Talagina? Digital of the Sword! I'm no pack mule. Let's offload this junk. Yeah, this is so okay. Yeah, that's a camping supplies. Damn game, you're making me really regret getting a godlike because now I don't get helmets. Of resolve plus one of perception plus one. Yeah, use that instead. That definitely fits your whole berserker thing much better anyway. Someone remind me, camping supplies up there. Very strong chance to mark up there. The Nexus looks like a hasty battle plan. A hasty battle plan might as well not be a battle Losing plan at all. I'll see what I can find. You all died rather horribly, didn't you? Oh, shit. Well, that's a lot of ghosts. Um. 
the logical step would be to get someone to do an attack and then no, lure them all nice. up here. So we then do not have to fight in a choke point. We don't want to fight in a choke point. There you go. That could have ended horribly. Well, shit, Palagina, help out the Devil of Karak over there. Damn. I forgot to switch it back to her gun. Fire! The wounding shots! Alright, Devil of Karak, focus on that one trying to kill a loss. Again, not one of my characters, so I have no idea why it's... Ayla, the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Oh my god. This is a fucking mess, isn't it? Uh, someone try to keep Ayla from dying? Thank you. He has some value alive rather than dead. Battery siren. Oh, is it ghost specific to this joint? Well, that sucks. You are trapped in this place, so you must fight eternal war against your brothers and sisters. Keeping an eye out. In endless combat. And then you must engage in mortal combat. Return a godlike it doesn't a refer touch. to my ability to carry unlimited quantities of war spoils. It does now. Oh right, I completely forgot about that tunnel up there. Well shit. I have to go check that out. Did this lead up there then? Hey, from the level below, prickles your skin. Here's... On sweat. Don't look back! I'll I'm keep an eye on granite needles and pins and pins. Keep running! I like the poison. The song, not the... Not imbibing the substance, or the substance in general that is poisonous. It's not good. Not good at all. We do not like the poison. The real poison, not song poison. Song poison is cool. So much. Man, especially you. if you heard the one by Sarge, that was really good too. Who are you blocking? The Devil of Kara. Right. He's blocking one of our DPSs in this moment. It's an excellent idea. Yeah, you get in position there. Well, why aren't you hitting something? You have a great sword, and the enemy is in front of you. Start hitting or die. Here, try to knock down an ooze. I'm sure that will do something. Pistol's definitely working for it. Yay! They found effective means oh, to murder people. Fun. And diamonds and Durgan iron ingots. Durgan iron, Durgan steel. As long as it's Durgan, people will pay. Already have uh, enough camp explorers. Something burns beneath you, but you can't see what. The souls of the damned, of course. What else would burn? Quite so brightly. Such beautiful, pretty flame. Good thing I'm freshly greased. 
many. There's bones and then browns and the grits. Fight! Ah, shit. Hi. It looks like the rest of them are just arbalists, people. Otherwise, ranged fighters, we can ignore them. So I have. They are not the priority. Murder! This is a new party, people. Get used to it. So much. Hmm. The real test will be after we get out of here, though, because we're technically over leveled for this. So, this isn't really a good litmus test on how effective this party is. So much for you. Pack mule. Let's off. Well, time to get rid of all this uh, worthless shit. Destroy. Oh, that makes it much simpler. Thank you, game. I just click destroy once. No, not the pry bar. We use pry bars to pry things open. Yeah, let's keep going. We just got to delete this. Uh, should I keep hats? And while we're here, once again, continue with the deletion. Destroy! Now you might be wondering, why don't I just leave the items on the ground? Considering the fact that they're probably of the same, they're the same quality as these items I am about to destroy. The answer is this. If I don't destroy it... It will appear blue on the ground, thus whenever I pass by it, I will think there is something of value in it that for some reason I missed, and try to pick it up. So it makes much more sense to, to delete everything, and uh, pick up the things that I just deleted, or destroyed. Essentially the same exact things I just destroyed. Simply because it clears the ground of clutter. It could potentially be a little confusing. You won't see me coming. See, it makes perfect sense. These some slabs have shattered like pottery. Yeah, of course they have. And oh. Heavy brown suit appears to have been ripped apart as pieces scattered across the floor. Okay, that must be the defenders then. The Forge Knights. Well, shit. That's fucking huge and not at all intimidating. If you I wonder if I can so. get them from a heap. That'd be nice. Got it done. Blasphemy. Keeping an eye out. Oh, these are sigils spots, huh? You should discovered all of remembrance. Oh, and if I find something good, you can have half. Okay. A coal bores into the stones, edges are blackened and gritty with soot. A night shroud, exceptional spell chance blind. It appears to be a soul bound mace. Um. These are Abidun's treasures! Ah, shit. Oh, well, I don't think I can hold out much longer. I, shall I be guess discreet. taking the mace kinda did something. Ugh! 
And by kind of, I mean merged. <laughs> Let's see, we got two sigils. So, and oh. Shit, people are starting to level. Nice. You profane Abidon sacred. Um. No, we didn't. Powder burns. Each shot of his our firearm. That would be cool, except I don't use it. What the fuck is wrong with my waist? Um, game, I think you forgot to load part of his outfit. Uh, when you use a hunting power war bone, they can amplify two as each shot. Each shot has reduced accuracy. Play dead. Uh, section will give you the animal companions and you me. Secondary attack when their angel lands a hit. Uh, these abilities are too focused and too. Companion falls over. Sure I was dead. Companion regains and. I think I'm just gonna use twin arrows there, buddy. Ground. Um, no, we didn't. You're thinking of someone else, clearly. Game. No, I thought we okay. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Shut up, we're not profaning anything. Go to your room. Go to your undead rooms. It's a soulbound mace, it's mine. So I can decide who to give it to. Go away. And oh, I am almost a corpse. No, do not knock over ally, please. Fragment of Wait, why are you an ally? The arcane blast this corner of the map. Uh, you might want to get into the thick of it too. There's someone right there being trying to kill you. Go for the murder! Better in the name of your new king. Yeah, it looks like some people don't want to die. A bunch of shit for a, a bunch of ghosts for protecting their sacred shrines. Okay, I guess we gotta look for more of those sigils then. Right, and uh, let's level up. Now, you, there you go. Yes, the fire is immune to the frightened and terrified of me. In this case, it has increased accuracy damage while knock enemies prone. Charge! The fighter dashes across the battlefield, flash reflecting crushed damage on anyone caught in his or path, and it's an counter ability, nice. It's a primary attack, so special damage will always target base damage reduction. Holy shit. And that seems like you'll just die instantly. Uh Patches hunting bow. I mean, I don't really know what the hell those do, uh... Frightened and terrified. Resolve and dexterity just by 2 and X just by 10. X just by 20. 
Oh shit. Uh I think charge. Alright then. Well, you know, let's save too, since you know we can. And horrible, horrible things aren't happening to us. Alright then, let's keep moving. Uh. Copper key. Let us in! They're coming! Yeah, I guess they weren't too keen on actually letting you in, were they? Alright then, I think I skipped a door up here. Or I broke something. Oh no, it's just an edge there. Okay, further up then. Yeah, there we go. I thought I skipped something. And if I find something good, you can have half. Them off! Move! Hobbiton's gears, they're Form coming! the battery! Well, you tried. That doesn't help at all, but you tried. Okay, nothing up there. Eyes open. Alright, let's keep going this way. We're sneaking, we're sneaking, we're sneaking. Swiper, swipe everything. We're outnumbered! Okay, I'm assuming that voice points me in the right direction of things. You're in a somewhat decent direction to acquire something. And I was immediately going to protect it. It's no use. Well just get <laughs> Taste my <laughs> mind. <laughs> okay, maybe help with the arcane assault. Uh, try frightening the goos, because I'm sure goos can be frightening. Because I ooze. It may as well be goo. No, don't deactivate that. Honestly, I'm amazed your strikes are even damaging. How the hell does that work? Do they just have a semi-solid body then? Are they just resistant to physical attacks? Yay, we're no longer in combat. I was worried for a second there. Like, no, did the bear freeze up again? Lay in low. I am covered deposit just splattered with blood. They won't see me coming. Well, yeah, they basically had a war here. A very stupid war, I might add. That war, nonetheless. The war has its victims. These victims were uh, akin. Let's run this way. Discovered I'll part an all. Uh, an empty minecart sits at the mouth of this tunnel, waiting to be loaded up with ore. Despite the condition of some of the surrounding tunnels, this cart and the tracks beyond it being attacked. Look inside the cart. The cart is empty, dusty, and patchy with the rest. Large enough that group of kids might fit inside uncomfortably. Do I look like I want to ride out on a fucking minecart? That sounds like a terrible idea. Hi, spirit. Is, you hear that? Okay, they don't 
don't want to talk to me, that's fine. Uh, Erasmus, something was hasty scrolled this page. Whoa, we're trapped here, but I take heart knowing you're safe below. When this ends, take whatever you can carry and leave for Fort Foam Picker at once. Take our nephew, you can. It's not safe here. Keep this with you. Love, your love, Erasmus. Yes, I was poem, but it's obscured with dirt. Keeping an eye out. You give me any more gifts and people will start thinking you're playing favorites. I don't suppose he's gonna release like a side quest of deliver the out. Yeah. God, even ghosts want mail. Uh, are we safe here? Nowhere is safe. Quiet. Nowhere. Safety is a lie. This is Oh, uh, may as well just kill him. Move in and kill. <laughs> Damn, lightning arrows sure do the trick, don't they? Or they just died quickly. Whichever one happens first. Girdle of Yorkton Constitution. In all honesty, I'm not even sure if this troll ridge, if this regeneration thing is actually even doing anything for me. Plus one endurance per three seconds. Maybe I should just take the thing that increases my max endurance. You know, get a constitution going. Uh, accuracy, blind on hit or critical hit. Find this item to unlock the next level. No. Okay, that actually is nice. You know, having a little constitution never hurt anybody. Keeping an eye out. I think. Well, I mean, it hurts the people you're fighting against because that means you last longer. But, but anyway. Despite that. Hurry! We can hide here! A blade in the dark. They're going to come for us here and. and. I think it was kind of pointless worrying about that, huh? Uh, door for my remains lie on the floor, covered in dirt and swears in cobwebs. Essence drift nearby, hanging in the stale air like dust motes. Takes a little additional effort, but you manage to gather the floating essence to you. You're way, way, way into it, and suddenly find yourself immersed in the souls of memory. The shock hits you with an almost physical force, so your heart hammers into your chest. Other Pargoon and brush past you, retreating or attacking. It's gotten hard to tell. You're running along a dark tunnel, pushing your overtaxed body as fast as it can go. Your heart pounds harder with each step. Constant thumps echo above you. Each one seems to resound in your heaving chest. You pass the mines and reach the main hall. It's packed full of shouting, shoving, panicking dwarves. Even if you could reach the door at the other end without getting trampled or beaten to death by something in the fever of the crowd tells you it's already locked. A little behind you rings and screams. You had another dial for the door to the forge below, but it's locked in the workshop on the other side of the barricade. The sound of battle grows closer. You race to the mines, ignoring the building pressure in your chest. You scurry deeper into the mines to lose track of your path. The tunnel seems to close around you. You stumble and fall. You try to pull yourself up, but your arm is dull with pain. Even though you stop, you can't quite catch your breath. For the first time, you notice a squeezing agony in your chest. Darkness gathers around you. Search the body! Take the key! <laughs> Fuck you dead people! Shit for the living! This shit is 
not mine. I think it's my right of I found it. And you're all dead, so you can't argue. Let's try that again. Oh, level. So much for you. Tell me which one of you gained level. I want to well, I'm assuming that means I now have to fight through all the other spirits. And power Gina level! Yay! Abjuration. Through force of will, a paladin can destroy any spirit or summon creature below the paladin's level. Spirits of summon creatures equal to or greater than paladin's level take raw damage. Great, except it only works against spirits and summon creatures. Next. Paladin focuses his or her faith and self immolates on blue flame. Each time the ability pulses damage, takes a small amount of raw damage, but enemies near it take burn damage. Obviously, a small amount of endurance. Hastening exhortation. Fire the urgency one of the Paladin's allies, increasing his or her attack speed. Paladin's pure soul is a soul invading force, granting bonus to defense against poison and disease, as well as charm, dominate, fright, and terrified effects. These effects also have the duration reduced by 5 seconds. Well, nice, uh, the sacred immolation does sound cool. Um... Hmm, but if you haven't noticed, we seem to do get charmed a lot. So, who? This or this? You take five raw damage. But everyone else takes 21 to 32 burn damage, and you heal every all your allies around you. That's only once per encounter. Hmm. Uh, sacred immolation. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you kind of do to want more attack abilities. All right, now time to fight through all the ghosts that were lettering the halls, which I guess is why they never disappeared. They were waiting to turn into our enemies. So much for you. <laughs> Kem, we run forward. Uh, I guess walk briskly. Stop him! Ah, that voice really doesn't like me, huh? Shit, you take one key. You're kinda stuck. Everyone acts like it's the end of the fucking world. Wait, does blindness count as a key attack? If so, then that may have actually worked great. Uh, Devil of Kara. That's no great. Setting ourselves on fire. <laughs> Takes a while, don't it? <laughs> Fastly setting yourself on fire is difficult. Who knew? <laughs> and stop. Wraith is dead. And Stormcaller leveled. Yay! Resting in the lair of a sky dragon. The fuck? A lookout on the pirate ship, grinning Marilina, took Stormcaller from the captured merchant ship. He used Stormcaller to fire on enemy ships from the crow's nest. While the Marilina approached, he could set a flame to enemy sails or peg between ships with rope arrows. However, when the captain began to look with envy on the marvelous bow, he jumped ship, sold Stormcaller, and became a fisherman. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode, so thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe if you'd like and subscribe. 
In order to follow me on Twitter for channel updates, pictures of dogs and cats, and whatever else I decide to put up there. So goodbye, humans and non-humans alike, and good ever applies to you, and... This... Dragon Leap. She doesn't have much attacks. Alright, is this still recording? Beep.